Do you remember Frost Giant Bodyguard Horn that we have looted from Hrungnir in the last episode? I really wanted to try it out, so I did. The only thing that was wrong was his name, so I gave him an appropriate one. Soon after, I came back to our spoils of war and I have noticed that I am missing one last piece to form the Scourge Stone. So I came back to the location where I knew I could find one. Oh boy, the nostalgia hits hard with this one. So many hours spent in this place. So many hints and tricks given by you guys. It will be super difficult to leave it forever, but it has to be done. Knowing that I have defeated the giant croc and got the jagged scourge stone piece, I came back to collect it and before leaving this place for good, I have visited the top floor to remind myself of good old days. We've come a long way since then, for sure. Anyways, I got back to our current HQ and seeing that I lacked only one piece to create the keystone, there was only one thing I could do at this time and it was to simply go and get it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's easier said than done, so let's go and have a look why it is. Dragonmouth is among one of many locations that we will visit today, however, it is one of not many that is so extreme in temperature amplitudes. We will go from freezing frost directly into the scorching heat of volcanoes, so there is that. If you walk into the Dragonmouth, it will move you directly to this passage, which is minuscule in size, almost so that it feels unnecessary to be in here in the first place. It consists of two rooms, one with stairs and the other one with lava and a trail going up, and literally that's it. It eventually takes you to here, the volcanic area where you can see well of Skellos looming in the distance. So now we have to get there somehow. Also, see these stairs right here? They don't lead to any major location, however you can get some golden lotus in here, so remember this place if you ever need it. Once we got back to the trail, all we had to do was to just follow it all the way down, where we were greeted by a miniature rock slide. This was quite funny for me, since the OG rock slide is both scary and massive, and this here is just its little cute version. Then we defeated few guards and got ourselves into here. One little disclaimer. Before you jump, if it's your first visit, go to the top floor of this building. This is where you can find Serpent Man recipes. Okay, now with this out the way, let's go! This is how you literally get into the Well of Skelos. Upon entering this location, you can see praying exiles. They are harmless, but Dalincia doesn't see it that way apparently, and you will see why just about now. I believe that during descent, the degenerate has spoken to us. Someone really wants their euthanasia to happen right now. So that apparently was a forge, and a very important one, but it seems like its greatest achievements are just a memory at this point. Well, I've got bad news. I'm not carrying any food and I ain't got a Slitheritarian help written on my back, so you know which one I got to choose. 
Once we defeated that single serpent man roaming on what turns out to be stairs, we came back to clash with Lot on the Lost, a Slitherman miniboss. There were two chests where we found him, but worthless stuff was found inside, so I omitted them and came here, back to the forge where we fought yet another miniboss, now with the name of Apep Chaos Forged. He hit like crazy, so be careful when you find yourself in here. And as for the forge, I haven't seen much interesting stuff in here, so we embarked on further exploration. I got to say that this place is truly beautiful, menacing but beautiful in its own way. Anyways, I came back to where we have fought with the lone serpent man and followed that path right to this place where we have fought serpent man brutes for the first time. They hit harder than regular slithers, but since they are considered to be mini bosses, you would expect that of them. Next task was to jump over the lava stream, nothing too hard to accomplish, but then we had to walk some more and do some more jumping, and I'm starting to see a pattern here. All this jogging brought us here, and don't tell me these don't look like Tyrael's wings. Our next target was Keeper of the Larder, and this one actually had to be slain to open the gate located right behind him. So we did, and we have passed through the gate to one of the last remaining places to be seen before we get to see the main bad guy in here. And this one right here just explained to me within few seconds why this once great civilization is on the brink of extinction. So exiting from this area, I have taken path on the right side, because one to the left leads to dead end. And as with all the other trails in here, I kept descending further down into the well. At the very end of it, we have finally found what seemed to be the main attraction of Well of Skelos. I was quite surprised to hear that there are actually antagonists in gaming world that are willingly trying to get wrecked, so I guess I should grant his wish. Something seemed odd though, I haven't seen the degenerate inside, but I had a different problem at the time. Multiple echoes of Valusia were spawning around us, so we had to clear the area before worrying about the degenerate. Regardless of what was going on with him, I seized the opportunity to check behind his throne in search of any worthwhile goodies. So I found multiple chests and a recipe stone, teaching how to craft obsidian stuff. Lots of it in fact. So I thought maybe it will be a good idea to run out of the room and check if he hasn't been relocated in recent patches, just like most of boss reward chests and when I found nothing, I opted out to see what Uncle Google has to say about it. Turns out that this is a long-standing bug in Conan Exiles, and while I was AFK, I read that it is advised to get out of the room where he resides, wait a while and come back to it. So, total time I spent away from keyboard was maybe 5 minutes tops and I decided to give it a go, meaning I had to get back to the room. Lo and behold, the degenerate himself decided to show up. Now unfortunately I had to fight Echoes once again, but it wasn't too bad. I even had to come up close to the degenerate to see if it wasn't a mirage caused by all this heat in here. You know, he disappeared once, he may do it again. Once we have slain all the Echoes, Barrier has fallen and we were able to engage in an unfair CQB with the last of his kind, the Mr. Degenerate himself. When he was gone, all that was left was to pick up the Trapezohedron. Trapezohedron? You know, that shiny thing that he dropped, the last remaining piece to craft a keystone. And opening the chest, of course. Before we leave from this area, I wanted to see what hides within Shrine of the Oracle. 
Once again we have met friendly exiles, but Dalincia does not understand friendly being a thing, and she had to obliterate every single poor soul in here. Eh, Dalincia, you crazy psycho, I like you. We have also met Vathis the Hierophant, let's hear him out. A pilgrim approaches, yes. The voices in the well told me you'd come. My past? <laughs> I was a scholar, vizier to the King of Ophir, a royal commission and a round bed. <laughs> Never mind my past. Calamity put me on the road that takes all lost things to these exiled lands. I wandered north, past fertile highlands, past frozen slopes, all the way to the caldera of the volcano. The time Nord ruins piqued my curiosity. <laughs> Here, I found the well. Here, I founded my cult. Here I remain until I puzzle out the secret to escaping this prison. When I realized that the voices in the well were the key to salvation, I cast off my earthly possessions. I shed my old life like an old skin. I recruited followers. The devout became the votaries of Skelos. Amid Cyclopean ruins, we live and study. Every night, we march in a line, robe cloaked and torch bearing. Every night, we cast our offerings into the well. We listen. Only I have glimpsed the Book of Skelos. Only my tongue knows the forking path. Only I can translate the hissing whispers in the dark. The voices in the well enlighten me. Someday soon, I will puzzle out their riddles and escape these exile lands. At the volcano's heart, I found a well. Down. It extended down into the darkness infinite. All through the night, I sat by the well. I heard sibilant voices from below. Such voices. They croomed in the dim in tongues I have remembered from my glimpse into the book of Skelos. So many years ago. But an unprepared pilgrim has never approached the well. Its nighted cadence flay your soul. A pilgrim understands the yes. Only the worthy of Skelos may approach the well. But for a courteous pilgrim, I could serve as an intermediary. This is acceptable, yes. I happened upon the Book of Skelos. The tome sought after by many and many a sorcerer. In its pages, I glimpsed the nameless sagas. I sounded the grim grammar that enslaves the elements, occasions the dead to rise, and summons the demons from the outer dark. In its pages, I spied the graveyard of the universe. Through the gulfs of space and wells of night. In its pages, I gazed into the pits of Aralo. In its verses, I saw the chaos. The crumbles. I enunciated a single syllable of the true name of Sathakwa. When he stopped yapping about all these things, we came back to collect all scourge stone pieces and paid one last visit to Petruso the Sandstorm Maniac, and we have assembled all three parts into one fully functional Heart of Sands. Now, before doing anything Keystone related, I wanted to pay a visit to someone who we should have seen a long time ago, Razma. 
who has been freed once we defeated the Witch Queen back in the day. So, we've opened the door with the use of the key to Razma's quarters, and there she was. Let's see what she has to say. I wanted to thank you. The woman that you met in those ruins. That was not me. She was ancient and wicked. And powerful. You almost killed me in that city. And I cannot begrudge you that. Such a terrible, awesome creation. While I wore the mask, I was somebody else. I was something else. Such power and knowledge. I stood on an island in a vast ocean. I could see across the water in every direction. And that ocean was time. I... I am sorry. It is difficult to describe. All I have are fragments. Her memories evaporate from my mind like mists above the oasis. If you have questions, you must ask them quickly. My mind is leaking, purging itself of all traces of that woman. She knew so much. About these bracelets we wear, about the giant kings and the ancient war, about the darkness that lurks in the volcano, and... Just ask, friend, before I lose the nerve to speak. Bracelets. She made them, together with the giant kings. The bracelets were imbued with the power of seven artifacts. The Witch Queen's Mask. The diadem of the giant kings, the tears of two races, the shining trapezohedron, the star of the champion, the heart of the sands, and the black ring of Set. The bracelets were created to translate any language for the wearer, to allow swift movement around the Empire, and to allow communication and recording through the lore stones. It was only later. When the war began, that the Queen suspected that the Giant Kings had included a death weave in the sorcery. Any who tried to flee their control were simply killed by the curse wall. Her people, the Lemurians, were the remnant of a desperate race. Her memories before the exiled lands are vague and confused. Flashes of an island kingdom sinking as the world heaves a people being subjugated with fire and sorcery an escape and a long treacherous journey into the west i'm sorry it's fading so quickly i remember a daughter telleth and a great betrayal and a grandchild she was a mother and a grandmother she knew what it was to be a slave, and didn't want that for any of her people. She would stop at nothing to prevent it from happening again. Can you blame her? Her mind shies away from two things. Her grandchild, and what her people found in the volcano. Her grandchild was... not truly human. Zoltar? He was a hostage, or something else. I'm sorry. For her, these memories were laden with emotion. I see a beloved daughter, and a hated foe, and a child that brings hope. It is so very unclear. As for what her people discovered at the volcano... Horror, anger, and disgust, and fear. This is the only memory where the Witch Queen of Lemuria felt fear. I truly don't know what I will do now that I have my freedom. Conan has offered to accompany me north, back to my home city in Shem. My palace awaits me, and the pampered life of a princess of Shem. But my enemies, the ones who sent me here, 
they also await me there. Perhaps instead, I will travel with Conan a while, see the world by his side. He is formidable, yes? For a barbarian. You almost killed me in that city. I cannot begrudge you that. Such a terrible... Lastly, I have climbed up the wall of Chaos Mouth, as I didn't see any other way to get there. Then I had to climb down, as obviously I climbed too high, and I found that Chaos Mouth has two sides. So I explored the closest one, when a Lord Tablet just appeared out of thin air, so I had to see what it says. Bonded one, you have come to the farmlands that give sustenance to our great empire. See the bounteous crops that bloom and blossom. You have been assigned to such duty. Be glad. Your days will be spent working the earth in sunshine and light. This is a good land, fertile and giving. If you are simply passing through, bonded one, do not despair. We have other tasks for you. And finally, Altar of the Chaos Mouth. Place where we will craft the keystone. Feels a bit sad to be leaving from the exiled lands after so many adventures together, but fear not. The keystone won't be used today. Instead, I will keep it until next episode, where I have something special for all the folks that have ever helped me with Conan Exiles. So, if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe, and that may be your last occasion to let me know what you would like to see within exiled lands, as next episode will be the finisher of this great journey. Until then, Exile, have a great day!